Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 and another part of our Manchester United Legends series. Now we're into the knockout stages of the Champions League. Now we've had a pretty good run since that horrendous run of defeats. Um, and last time out, we did manage to beat Nottingham Forest, but it wasn't enough. A really strange away goals extra time rule, knocking us out of that competition and uh, depriving, of us, depriving us of any domestic cup competitions. Because we're also out um, of the FA Cup, having lost to Wigan in that same run of defeats. Um, so not the best time there in the cup competitions, but we managed to do all right in the league. We beat West Ham 6-0, a hat-trick for Pele in that game. Then we beat Blackburn 2-1, George Best with a last gasp winner. And then against Sunderland, we did manage to uh, get a draw from that game. We could have won it, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, Bobby Charlton missed a penalty there in that game. And it wasn't, I think, the 91st minute. Um, so that was really poor. We've missed, I think, like our last five penalties. We just cannot score no matter who is put on it. So if even Bobby Charlton is missing, I don't really know what to do. I could get... Um, Pele on them but I rested him in that game in preparation of this one against Valencia um, so hopefully now that he's back he will be able to get a few goals and you can see why if we take a look at his record valued at 100 million pounds in the game but since we signed him he scored 10 goals in just five matches eight in four in the league he is absolutely unstoppable and such a good striker. So today against Valencia, as we're away from home, we need a result. I've got my strongest possible team out there. We've got Pele up front, Best, Charlton and Beckham across the front three with Edwards and Scholes in midfield. Then it's Byrne, Ferdinand, Stam and Neville in defence with Schmeichel in goal. Well, you can see the Valencia team here is a very strong one. They're full of legends because they are a club with a really rich history uh, so you can see Mundo up front for them the number nine there's also Kembers Pablo Aymar in attack midfield will be dangerous Maroni on the right uh, Puchades and Claremont in midfield with Carboni Arias uh, Ayala and Angloma difficult name to say that one uh, and Canizares who I do remember quite well in goal Ayala I know as well Aymar all very good players they've got the likes of Mendieta on the bench as well they are going to be tough to beat but we should be able to beat them with a side that we've got um, they I mean, we've just really been struggling to put together results lately so I'm hoping that we will be able to do that after drawing with Sunderland recently and Pele kicks us off with him back up front I see no reason why we can't win this game it's not often that he doesn't score I think he's only actually had one match where he didn't get a goal um, if even that actually I don't think he has had a game where he didn't get a goal um, but we do have a highlight here it's Angloma to Ayala forward good header down to Kempes switches the flank to Moroni good position here as he pushes down the right flank puts it in but Schmeichel with a very good stop there um, I'm sure there's still going to be another attack out of this one. And he sends it forward. Claremont forward. Now Aymar. Mundo. Out wide to Moroni. It's all Valencia at the moment. The ball goes in. And it's just over the top. If we can get a goal, that away goal will be crucially important. Um, especially with our patchy form. A goal, maybe two away goals would be helpful. George Best getting injured is absolutely not helpful. Uh, we do have David Villa who can play down the left flank though. So he is going to come on. Not a bad option to have, although he is quite young. He's about 17 years old at this stage. So, be interesting to see how he does. He's not done too well when I've brought him on before, but I'm going to give him another chance here against Valencia and see if he can manage to get a goal. Pele not doing well on a 6.6. .6. Half an hour gone, we've only had one shot on target, which is not enough. Pele's got a bruised thigh, but I think he's okay. Ayala. Forward, ball goes forward. I'm already in a good position. Finds Mundo. Now Kempes and a very good stop by Schmeichel. That was a nice passive move. They probably shouldn't have played the ball out to Kempes and should have taken the shot earlier. But here's Imar putting the ball in. Comes out to Moroni. Good block and the ball does go out of play. Um, obviously the new football manager has been announced. They've changed the logo and got rid of manager man off the profile. Beckham with a free kick here cleared away. Valencia going to come on the counter but they've made some big changes we haven't heard anything of the game yet that said I've still bought it as Beckham charges down the right puts it in Pele's there but it's saved by Canizares a good stop there 
Um, but I have already bought the game. I've pre-ordered it. You can do that on Steam. There's a 10% discount if you pre-order it. Beckham with a free kick over the top. Um, and I'm looking forward to the new game. I hope you guys are as well because I think it will be uh, good fun. I'm not too sure what to expect from the new game though. I don't know if you guys have any ideas of what you'd like to see. Um, or maybe you've heard a rumour about what's going to be included. Because I don't think there's going to be substantial changes if I'm honest. I'd like to see this 3D match engine improve. But that's likely to cause performance issues for a lot of computers. And the game is already quite difficult to run. Uh, so I'm not really sure what to expect from it. But I'm hoping that they could do something with scouting. Because I felt like that's not worked very well. Um, in this game, I don't really like the way they've set that up. And also training is a perennial thing that is never improved. So it'd be good to see that done. But Charlton finds Pele here. Out to Beckham, but into Canizares again. We just can't get that final effort off. And I don't really know where the fault lies. Villa has not done well since coming on. Charlton struggling a little bit. But the teams, they're okay for average rating. I don't understand why they aren't getting the goal here. But Schmeichel sends it forward. Maybe we can get a late one. Ball comes down to Beckham again. He's been around a lot. Charlton. Out wide to David Villa. Into Pele. Now Beckham. Out to Neville. Skulls on the edge of the area. Into Charlton. Now Pele back to Edwards again. Comes out to Beckham. He's turned defender well. Finds Charlton on the volley. It's hit David Villa and gone in. And Bobby Charlton has somehow got the goal there. I'm not sure that is a very fair reflection of that goal but Bobby Charlton gets the credit we've got 15 minutes to see out here with our away goal lead and it's gone already Fernando pops up there and just powers a header into a pretty vacant net for 1-1 and our lead lasted all of about two minutes before being pegged back but that said we do still have the away goal that is crucially important because uh, it means we can afford to concede one at Old Trafford without it doing too much damage but Burn here fine skulls now Charlton be great if we could get another and win this game outright. Skulls into Beckham. Oh, and he's tried to use the outside of his laces when a left-footed finish would have made it 2-1. Um, I'm not going to make any changes because I don't know how I would improve this team. But Pele is not going to save us today. Claremont with the free kick goes to Moroni. That's well wide and that will be the full-time whistle on a disappointing 1-1 draw. We should have won that game. It doesn't look like it on the stats, but I know, yeah, we should have won that game. Our stats should have been higher. So I'm not happy with the way the team has played there. We failed to win another game. I think the big thing is that we are desperately missing Ryan Giggs on that left flank because best out there is not utilised very well. He's better on the right-hand side. And now we've lost him as well for five weeks. So David V is probably going to have to play out on that left flank. Maybe Jesse Lingard could come in there. But you see Pele injured for one to five days. Best out for five weeks. And Ryan Giggs is out for another couple of weeks. It's going to be a difficult little run in here against West Brom and Newcastle. But then we will take on Valencia in the return leg and Manchester City in the next episode, I think. So there'll be lots to look forward to there. You can see our top goal scorer, George Best, 26 goals so far this season. That is... Much higher than I thought it was. He's got 19 and 25 in the league, but 26 in all competitions. That is a staggering return from George Best. Ryan Giggs with 24 assists. You can see that we are really missing him. Duncan Edwards is so influential in midfield, and Bobby Charlton can definitely win games. Um, but as it stands, 11 games to go. We are 10 points clear. Newcastle, of all clubs, in second place. Everton in third. Arsenal fourth. And down at the bottom of the table, you can see Man City... Looking like they could get relegated. West Ham, Leicester and Blackburn all down there as well. Um, I'm surprised Wolves aren't further down there. And the same with Derby really. But an interesting table makeup there. Um, but that is going to be it for today's episode. If you're still enjoying this series, make sure to drop a like on the video. It doesn't get that many views. So the only way I know that you guys are enjoying it is by hitting that like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel as well if you're new around here. But until next time, see ya.